What's up with all the sound and being muted? Playing at so the last time we caught up with Aiden Ross, he was running around cosplaying as his daddy Andrew Tate. <laughs> that's not even cool. Oh, that's funny. Swearing up and down that he was going to change X, Y, and Z about his life, all in the name of becoming the true bottom G. It's to form the, the best version of myself. <laughs> in six months, my hair G. goes back. My body will look right. My mindset will be great. Everything will be back to normal, except I'll be stronger and better as a human being. Around a year later, Aiden would divulge information on his stream that many believe got both Andrew and his brother Tristan thrown back in Romanian prison. Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big. And it's never, it's, I'm sorry, he said it's not, it's basically now or never. Again, guys, this might be the last time we ever do this. So it's kind of like we got to take advantage of it now. The red pill space in general has been in very bad shape. You got dudes jumping off board, admitting it was all a grift. I'm not part of the manosphere. It's gay. And then you also got black dudes who pray every night to God that their skin will turn white. Notice hey, when black yo. guys don't like doing that shit. White guys, we're all like, yeah, well, uh, I said we. Hanging out in whites only Twitter spaces and somehow still embarrassing themselves. Hey, Myron, you're in a hostile area, And I'm not area, scared bro, to have a just... conversation with you guys because I'm not a pussy. Okay, well, you're, gonna have to either you're not going to have a or whatever. I'm oh, sorry, right. sir. It's a fucking white space. We have know that. They've... I know. They're the fucking rules. No need. I'm serious guys, the red pill is losing power and influence every single day. These guys are getting banned on multiple platforms, and I guess you could say that nature is now healing itself. Either way, nature. Aiden has been back to acting the way he did before he met the Tates, only now he has more money, more clout, and more problems. This man appears to have a serious addiction to gambling. Yeah, where you at? Come on, pop a squat. I would, but... What, we too broke for you, bro? No, it's not that. Uh, Come just, on, bro. I'm very degenerate, like very bad. Dude, what? Is it like $500 hand in and hey, hey, you, bro? You too like, cool? No, like 20, 20, 20 is what I do. It's fucked. And he said on numerous occasions that he's had issues with an addiction to lean, as well as other substances. Well, look at him. He's a kid. He doesn't do any real work. He sits on Perfect stream room websites on and gambling like a dumbass. He keeps on and on and off drugs. Like the guy's, he's too young to get rich. You can't give a kid a $50 million streaming contract. Still, it's beyond clear at this point that Aiden Ross feels untouchable with his newfound spot in the entertainment industry. I mean, he's out here at these quote unquote white parties thrown by Rick Rubin. And to me, I think that this is where the freak off is now migrated to now that the walls are crashing down <laughs> around Diddy, And his the freak off is now migrated to now that the walls are Camilla. crashing down. To oh me, I think that this is where the freak off is now migrated to now that the walls are crashing down around right. Pete Diddy and his affiliates. Diddy. Regardless of Wait, all what? of that, recently Aiden Ross has been talking crazy about Sorry. the Kendrick Lamar and Drake that beef that and more specifically about people within the California gang community. And now many are starting to take issue with that as Aiden Ross is pretty much begging them to put a target on his back. And so this whole situation all really started when Aiden Ross would go on to stream with DJ Academics, as well as a Toronto rapper named Top 5 who apparently has a very close affiliation to Drake. Me and Drake are gonna link up in a couple of days and we're gonna do this podcast. Oh and, shit. Uh, and we're gonna play not like us video. We're gonna look at every nigga in the video. We're gonna do homework. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna look for the niggas. I don't fuck around, play around, but Aubrey, that's my bro. And so obviously within the Not Like Us video, a lot of people from California were featured, both gang affiliated and not. And so I do not think they were very fond of DJ Academics nor Aiden Ross platforming this man top five. Obviously Academics has always been the biggest Drake meat glazer. And it's also my belief that Aiden Ross and Drake now have a pretty close relationship, especially with their close proximity and ownership in gambling websites. Oh my God, it's fire and of course, it. with how much Drake loves streaming, and he's really kind of stepped the into that whole the realm the as well. We were just looking at the shit. It's like crazy, bro. Like, God damn. You're blessed with your voice. You're blessed with performing. You're blessed to be you. You're blessed to be number one. But you're also blessed to have a f missile. Y'all give me love. I'm going by and when it comes to top five, you could say that his relationship with Drake might go a little bit deeper, as this guy Ryan claims that Drake helped pay the legal fees for rapper Top Five, who murdered a civilian named Hashim. Hashim's hey, cousin spoke out against Drake and Top Five in these Instagram stories. Toronto rapper Top Five thanks Drake for paying his lawyer fees leading up to his trial. Shout out Big Bro Champagne Poppy for the lawyer fees and Gary Grove for being the best lawyer in Toronto. 
to which the victim's cousin allegedly says, Zero clue this was even a thing. This shit hit like a blow to the stomach. Just so we're clear, my baby cousin was murdered in the parking lot of his home. This is a trial about the murder of a kid, a child on the way home from a pizza place, not in no street politics, not a part of nothing. I used to appeal to this man, we all looked up to him, this is the wildest move, what the f*** are y'all doing, at Champagne Poppy, hashtag justice for Hashim. And I guess this is the apparent mugshot from that situation, and here is Yo, the enlarged like version of care. that original Instagram post, where he shouts out Drake as well as this 1812 Declaration of Independence ass lawyer he hired for allegedly helping him beat the case. And so then a lot of the guys who used to be host on No Jumper, who are obviously on their own platforms now, had this to say about the whole situation. He from Canada, Eden Ross? Nah, he Jewish, nigga. Where he from? He like, he like Florida. He like, turn this shit off, this shit trash. Oh, so Aiden Ross tripping too? Oh, for sure, for sure. Yo, he, took, he took his stand, he took his stand, right? And I believe all of these people, especially AD over here in the corner, have been affiliated with California gang culture for quite a long time. So then another guy named Smack would call into his live stream and had this message for Aiden Ross. Well, one, who is he calling? Oh, dang, oh. Right. And I swear to God, and I swear to God, I'm gonna slap him. And even if his security is from LA, they're gonna get slapped too. So if he comes with some out of town security, they really gonna get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just has put himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA. Please, brother, sister, I mean, auntie, please, please, we buy, please. Oh, so he's basically nah. telling Aiden there that he doesn't like the things that he's been saying and that California is no longer a safe place for him to be. And the second he touches down in LA, that he's pretty much going to learn his lesson. And like I told you guys before, recently Aiden's ego seems to be kind of off the charts. And so this was his response to those comments. LA. I'm not banned from LA, bro. I yeah. wish somebody would. I swear to God, I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do shit. Yeah. I, you, yeah. I like how Sne Sneeko said, said, Nope, I don't want no smoke. <laughs> Sneeko got that quick, that clip so quickly. Yo, I'm done, bro. Sneeko said, Nah, I, whatever you doing, I is, I is not a part of that. I don't get. I don't give a f like you think I'm scared of LA? What? Yo, I lived in LA for years and years and years. He hopped out of that shit so quick, that bro. Old ass motherfucker on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, <laughs> but I'm gonna have security smack the fuck out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm gonna have security smack the I mean, at least he you knows. Know, so he's basically having his Jack Doherty moment right here, even admitting that he's going to cause a problem and then have his security take care of it. Everybody's I mean, we've ready already to crash talked out, bro. about the way these streamers Everybody's use security ready to crash out. in these completely inappropriate ways, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if he's serious about his claim here. I mean, we've seen what happened with Jack Doherty almost a year ago when his security guard knocked out that random, unassuming guy at a Halloween party, yeah, that was... and now that's turned that into insane. a massive lawsuit mess for him so that could easily happen to aiden ross Dude, who I obviously dropped. has a lot more money and can we also acknowledge the very rare smart sneako moment here as he kind of slides out the camera frame <laughs> like homer simpson obviously not wanting any part of this california real, smoke no. i love all the crips and bloods in la <laughs> <laughs> people have no beef i don't know go start Yo, a w w sneako, go, bro. Go, 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 go 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 play poker or chess you're old all right get off get off the internet shit. it's not for you buddy and obviously Aiden is pretty much asking for a massive problem here. It's my belief that there's many people who do not have any sort of presence online who would be beyond ready to put an end to this type of talk, especially coming from a big streamer like this. And this situation kind of started bubbling up back in March when the Kendrick feature from the song Like That would be released. And this was Aiden's response to that. Listen, bro, this is just corny as fuck, bro. But what you're not gonna do is disrespect J. Cole and Drake, because I know both their discographies, like the back of my fucking hand. And I'm gonna be honest, the only one that I really, really did not really understand his discography, but I know he's talented as fuck and I like him, is Kendrick. Months later, when Not Like Us would come out, he would have this to say. Hey Drake, I hate you like I'm young. <laughs> you better have a go to But it's like, where's the proof? And this song is hard as but why, but where is the proof? I mean, him texting Millie Bobby Brown trying to give her advice about boys when she was like 13 to 14 years old. There was the whole video of him on stage. There's videos of him and Madison Breer. I mean, the list kind of Madison goes on and on. Breer. It's been well documented on this channel. But like listen, this whether he kind of waits or not till it's actually legal, we all know that Drake kind of likes to rock the cradle. 
This does not make, bro. Y'all are so that's much, crazy, stupid, bro. And then the not like us situation would get even funnier as Aiden would continue to cope and obviously glaze Drake when he's out in public at this club in Vegas and they decide to start playing not like us. Nah, I, I'm loyal to Drake, bro. I'm not dancing this shit, bro. This shit cringe. This song but it's song's sucks. hard, bro. So as time has gone on and Drake has taken a bigger and bigger blow from this <laughs> bro, not like us song. How are you allowing yourself to get be caught in these photos, bro? What the his fuck? fans have had is like, oh, this song is overplayed. This song sucks dick. When in reality, I'm sorry, every time that beat comes in, it just still hits the same. It's That's overplayed. Don't be ass, bro. Oh, man. This shit is ass, bro. I mean, he kind of looks like he's about to cry in the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just picturing how all these different Drake stand accounts have been acting all summer when they hear this song comes on. It's like the boogeyman came out or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess my point here is that he's obviously team Drake and he's gonna ride for him till the very end. But should any of this actually surprise anyone? I mean, he's out here at the alleged freak off taking pictures with the king freak himself. I'm sorry, but in the bathroom is crazy. Not Either way, this would freak. be Aiden's response to that moment from the AD live stream. Aiden Ross, let me, uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. So come do it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Your shitty life. Come on, let's try it. Let's 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 make some magic happen. Come on, try it. At least you'll go to jail for what minimum five years in LA. What is it? I'll get. I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm a low key sue you for that. You want to? I can't wait. Yo, let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. I promise you, I'm serving you ASAP. Don't ever threaten my life again, you big bitch. Go start a family. This podcast shit's not for you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a gangster. I'm not about that life at all. That's why I said security's gonna do what they're gonna do. But now I'm going straight to my lawyers. So yeah, he's playing like the full hand of the annoying streamer card, threatening security is gonna beat people up, and now saying that he's gonna bring out lawsuits on people. And it's my belief that AD got this man on the phone and pretty much told him, hey, it's a little bit more serious than these internet things you normally have going on, and you should really consider retracting your statements if you ever wanna be back in LA where obviously all the influencers love to go and do their nasty shit. So then you had Aiden completely backpedaling and dropping this apology. Guys, I've been uh, I've been talking to people from LA. Uh, I'm, I'm actually coming to LA in about a, probably like a couple weeks. Don't put GGs in the chat. But I do want to I do want to clarify and, and take a step oh, back geez. and really, you know, in the moment, obviously, I was talking crazy and shit. But I do want to say one thing. L.A. is to not be fucked with. L.A. is a serious <laughs> place. And I love L.A. Seriously, I love L.A. The backpedal was absolutely hilarious. Uh, but I, I'm Yo. not saying fuck you to, to all of L.A. Because I'm not even joking, bro. People that are uh, in a certain amount of group, rappers, uh, specifically the rapper you guys know I'm talking about. He's scared to say his name. Bro, LA is is deeper than that, bro. There's a lot of dangerous people out in LA. They don't even talk on the internet. They don't even have an internet. They don't even have. They don't even care about the internet. And that's what I'm saying. Exactly. There's people who have absolutely no online presence they? who would probably be happy to handle this type of situation. Probably the best. I love California, bro. The the, the, the weather is the best there. You know, <laughs> I love Los Angeles. So yeah, he seems a little bit shook here. And so you know, Adam Twenty Two of all people had to jump in. Okay, this is reported by Academics TV. Big Twenty Two defends Aiden Ross and Face Banks, and this is coming from Adam's story where he says, "I've disrespected y'all way worse than Aiden Ross and Banks ever did, and y'all never did anything to me. You know where I'm at every day, and I'm chilling. You guys make LA look goofy with all these empty threats. So I guess this is really just the day that everyone woke up and decided to put a target on their back." I gotta be honest with you guys, when it comes to No Jumper, I have not checked for them since Adam was giving his wife away on that reality <laughs> TV show. And I told Wait, you guys what? back when that whole situation was going on, when did that, that, that was pretty much Adam relinquishing uh, his spot in both the podcast and the internet game, and that he would now be known online almost exclusively as the guy who let his wife get piped out. Like I predicted back then exactly what would happen, every time Adam now posts Imagine, on Twitter or he posts on Instagram, the comments are just flooded with people trolling him, no one really takes him that seriously at this point, and I think as a whole the No Jumper YouTube channel kind of lost most of its momentum. And I'm sorry to anyone out there who was like a huge fan of Adam or the No Jumper podcast, but this is just the guy he's known as now, exist. it's like his whole gimmick. I know Adam, I have respect for you, I would never do that. First of all, I would if never- you respect you, If you respect me, you'll f my wife. Huh? What? That makes no sense, brother. That's my love language, Aiden. I'm just saying, like, all right. Actually, I want the mouth. I want to get head. 
while you do whatever it is that you can do to her cheeks from behind. And I truly believe what? that this man was 100% serious in saying that. But yes, Aiden Ross, he's a fool, he has this inflated ego, and like many streamers these days, he's likely going to get himself into a bad situation at some point. Now I do think if there's one thing to remember, this tweet kind of emphasizes it. Kendrick Lamar in a big cave watching The Sopranos having no idea that Aiden Ross and the state of Cali are going at it. Obviously guys, we do not know if Kendrick even cares about this, we do not know if this guy who called into the AD live stream was really like one of his goons as this tweet apparently claimed i think that there's a much higher chance that that guy who called in is just like affiliated with california in some way and he was just kind of trying to let people know that there are individuals who do not really tolerate that type of disrespect but yeah this was really just another episode of streamers are stupid part 355 <laughs> i do want to thank you guys for watching today's video dropping a like and subscribe the middle of it the middle of it ain't gonna lie the middle of it bro <laughs> like the <laughs> the can't the, the, the sneaker slide on that clip bro still got me dying